So T comes up, this door's not here, straight hallway, open doorway right. We can either do it verbally or non-verbally, open doorway right. Team is going to stack. You're going to stack back from the threshold of the doorway about an arm length. You don't want your muzzle to, to hang out over it, right? So if your pistol, we're going to be here, muzzle back from the doorway. I'm going to wait for the stack to come up. We're going to stack. You're going to get a squeeze up, a positive squeeze. Two squeezes usually is, is the way is the, the standard. And we can use the arm function of tap. Exactly. Okay. Um, we're going to move up. There's two ways to get through a doorway, either a button hook or a cross. A button hook is hooking through the door. A cross is crossing straight across the threshold. Okay. Whatever the first guy does, the second guy is going to do the opposite thing. That's the way you got to work together. So I'm deciding in this situation that I'm going to cross. I wait for my squeeze up. I get my squeeze. I always give a little nod to let them know I'm going, like a fractional pause. I'm going to move across the doorway, a good positive step across the threshold. I'm worrying initially about my hard corner. Obviously, I have something straight in front of me. I'm going to address it when I have to. But assuming I don't, where the bad guy's going to hide is the hard corner. I'm crossing across the threshold, looking at my hard corner. As soon as I get my hard corner, what I can do is you call limited penetration. I'm going to come three to five feet uh, off the doorway and about two feet off the wall because if a round ricochets off the wall, it's going to come about a foot off the wall. Mm. So I'm going to come, boom, I'm going to cover this corner. Now when I hit my corner, and I'm going to start sweeping my section of the room. Immediately off my shoulder, since I crossed, that guy, the second guy, he's hooking behind me, and he's got to be right on my ass. So as I'm crossing, he's almost mimicking my steps. I'm crossing this way, the button hook guy, Boom, and this room is built without a corner, but that's fine. We didn't know it. It doesn't make any difference. Now I'm running this one. I'm going to come in. Boom, I've crossed immediately behind him. I've covered my hard corner. We're both clearing 360 throughout the room. Usually what you have is either the first or second guy, however you want to designate, is going to be what you call the room boss. He's going to call it. So the first guy comes in. He's going to be left side clear. Second guy, right side clear. Whoever the room boss is is going to go room clear. Now when you're coming out, you've had the rest of your team it was stacked here. As you got, as the team was entering, the third guy through is going to become the point man, covering continuously down the hallway. So the first guy goes in, second guy goes in. This guy is passing. Okay. If this is your SOP, if you're not doing two man entries, he's going to pass, cover down the hallway. The rest of the team is going to remain stacked over here. Taylor and Charlie is going to be facing the other way. The rest of the team is going to remain stacked for a uh, trailers, they call it. Like if I get in the room and it's bigger or there's a lot more shit in there that I, I have to address, the guy's going to come in I'm going to go, give me two trailers. All right, trailers up, coming in, come in. Boom, two trailers are going to come in and they're going to fix, they're going to address whatever problem that I need them to address. Okay. And they're going to enter the same way, come in but across. I'm going to make space for them on the wall. We're going to be like, look, we got an open door here. So, and then we're going to start flowing okay. through that room. But assuming it's just a square room like that, two guys through, through they're capable. First, the third man goes down and he becomes point man. He's okay. Down over here. So now the next room, so the next room he's number one. Is, these guys are going to come out in a, in a mount or a situation like that, like a military situation. You're going to mark the room somehow. Okay. In a chem light or chalk or something like that. Let's let them know you crossed it. And what these guys are going to do, they're holding down, like a room clear. And you're going to get, Zurich coming out, come out. The guy over here is going to tell me, come out. I'm going to come out here. Next guy, Edel's coming out, come out. Have okay. Here. Boom. Ready to go. We're going to get the squeeze. We're going to continue down the hallway. Perfect. Moving like that. A door like this, we can, I can go into this if you want. Address it. You know you got a closed doorway. The guy's going to cross. The guy who's the breacher, the guy who's opening the door is never the guy that's going to enter, right? So you got to, there's things you got to look at, which side the hinges are on and stuff like this. Sure. You can look and see hinges are inside, it's going to open in. Here's my door handle on this side. So, point man's going to come across, continue covering down. Second man's going to come, he's going to be the breacher on this side. Now you can either decide to just run the conga line and stack, enter, or you can cross other guys behind. Okay. So you can do a crisscross through the row. Gotcha. First guy, we're going to look at each other. I'm going to check and see if the door's locked. If it's not locked, he's going to look at me. I'm going to go, boom, I'm going to give him a nod. Push the door open. This guy, and then we're just going to go, right? You're just going to bam. This guy's going to, boom, ride that door in all the way to the wall. Ride it in hard. Boom. Come in. You can either cross or button hook. And this is trail button hook because I know this door comes this way, so I can ride it all the way in. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to button hook. And you're going to, you're going to cross. Oh, right cross. Up. Okay. You're crossing, and then you need to move button two, three feet down, right over here, and you're going to clear your, you got, now your okay, side of the room. Gotcha. Left side clear, 360, up and down, left side clear, right side clear, room clear, 
Then we're going to go. Then we're going to go out. 